Well, hey everybody, I'm Steve Montelli, taking a look today at the Fion wallet. Uh, this is from Dara Leather. Now, Dara Leather, let me explain. That's actually the guy's last name that makes these. His last name is Leather, first name is Dara. And this is the Fion wallet made in Ireland. Now, I've never gotten a uh, wallet made in Ireland before, but this is a, a, a beautiful example of some really good craftsmanship. Now it says how to pronounce the name right there, Fion. I'm sure I'd have murdered that. This is the Brogue Card Wallet. Uh, it's an Italian Veg Tan. I've been getting a lot of those lately. Um, really nicely done. It's hard. It's a real hard Veg Tan. You can hear how you can almost knock on it. And where the Brogue comes in is these accents on the back. See these little holes here? These are styling accents that are reminiscent, really, of a pair of uh, of a pair of men's wingtip shoes with a brogue pattern on it. And if you if you look up wingtips, I'm not sure if they're still worn or not. I mean, I've had a couple of pair of wingtips in life, but they have this brogue pattern. These holes are called brogue. Um, so this wallet sort of commemorates a brogue pattern, I guess. <laughs> you see the Fion put into the leather down here. Um, nice detail on this though. These are laser cut, okay? And then he hand finishes them. And you can see that the edges are really nicely blackened. Everything is just done to perfection here. Hold on, let me give it the sniff test. Hold on. See, once again, this is a great Italian veg tan leather. I really get a a heady sense of leather when I smell this. Um, the inside is also finished. Let's see if you can see this. You can see the outside is shiny. All right. I mean, really finished well. Edges are all perfectly done. Even the inside of the brogue accents here are perfectly done. I mean, really some fine workmanship. Stitched by hand. You can even see where you're getting some pull-up down here on the veg tan even. You, sometimes, you, you know, it takes a lot to see pull-up on veg tan, but you can see some pull-up on the bottom where it's folded over. But the inside, can you see the inside is sort of shiny also? The inside of this is also finished. I mean, it's just a, just a pretty wallet. There you can really see the shininess on the inside there. So let's put some cards and cash in it. I'm going to try six cards. All right. Now my question also is, is the back slot for cash folded once, cash um, quartered, or extra cards? And I think that depends on your personal bent that day, is what you want to use this back pocket for. But I'll put some cash in there and we'll see. So this is a real hard leather. You'd have to break this in. I mean, I don't want to really push it out of shape too much. I am going to, I am going to try it for a few days because I, 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 I like it. I like it a lot. So here, let's put, uh, let's put four cards in the middle. Non-raised cards, non-raised letter cards. Let's stick four in there. Okay, four fit good, and you can still, and you can still thumb one out. So it's always good when the thumb slot works as a thumb slot. And let's put, let's try, okay, there's, this is seven cards. Okay, well, let's try seven. Let's blow it out big today and try seven. So there's three in the back, four on the inside. Still thumbs up good, okay? Okay, now let's take these three out and put in cash. This is the six bills, and let's see how we do there. Okay, I've got it all the way down in. You can see it's all the way down in there. And this is what you have. The cash sticks out a little bit. 
So that's not a deal breaker, having it stick out that much. But it would be a deal breaker if I had to put, if I had to quarter the cash, if I really wanted to carry cash and I had to quarter the cash, as you may know, I don't like quartering the cash. So I don't think I'd be quartering the cash no matter what. But there's six bills that are quartered, okay? I don't like that look at all. I would rather put the bills in a money clip or throw them just into my pocket outside of the wallet rather than quarter the cash. Like I say, I could, I could do it. I could live with half. I could live with half. It sticks out a little, but you know what? It's, it's doable. Now, I have put the fold in the cash up top and put the narrowest end down inside. Let's see if it still thumbs. It still thumbs. It's, it thumbs up a couple of cards. So you could still work that. That's still, that's still doable. But I think what I like the best is the four inside. And then, let's say you put three in here. You really shove them in there. Let's put two in there. There. Damn, the party's just getting better by the second, isn't it? Look at that stitching. Isn't this whole wallet beautiful? This is laser cut in here. It's deep. And you can see that it's beautifully done. It's exactly done. So, four on the inside, two on the outside. That's a doable combo for me. That is a doable combo. So this is the Fion wallet made in Ireland. Stay up there. I want it to magically stay there, but it's not going to do that. Created by a gentleman named Dara Leather, real last name, Leather, Fion, IE. Never seen an Irish made wallet before. So this was a special treat. The brogue pattern, reminiscent of the wingtips your father used to wear. Nice job all over. That's it for now. I'm going to hold this in place so it stays up there straight. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.